Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. We have a vlog style video today. I'm going to actually go through and swatch the Vanellisa, um, the Fur Effect gels. So I'm finally getting around to doing that. It's been a little bit, but life be crazy. Oh, and I finally did my nails, so no more gloves for a minute. Um, my intention was to film that, I kind of did, and then me and the bling was having like such issues that I think what was throwing me off is because, which you'll see kind of a close up in a little bit, that I was trying to put like big bling where big bling just didn't belong. I was like forcing it, so it just took me longer than it usually does. I find me personally, ah, oh, it's like embarrassing to say, but it takes me like four hours to do my own nails. Like, and that's if I just do like my regular type of nails I guess you would say like if I do extra 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 long then um it definitely would take me a little bit longer but let me know in the comments how long does it take you guys to do your own nails like I'm not fast doing even like clients nails yet as you guys know I'm not like you know what I mean I'm not a vet in this but um yeah it takes me so long so as much as I love it sometimes it's a pain in the butt and then filming it I don't know like quick sing. I'm so used to doing my nails like this so like I'm close like you know what I mean like yes with the gel and stuff I have no issue doing it on the table and like camera and stuff but when I'm doing like bling everything like I don't know I'm just so used to like doing my nails like this so it's taking me a little bit of time to adjust getting it under the camera doing it from a little bit of a distance and do you know what I mean like that little it's a process it, it's definitely learning curves I'm gonna stop making all these faces when I watch back I'm like is that how I talk like it's such like I don't know like my eyes always look weird but anyways so off topic of all that um I do want to show you guys one thing that I got in I got it in a little while ago I did want to wait and show it in a haul but I ended up using it when I did my nails so I'm just gonna show it to you guys now this is this little thing. It is a Manny slash Petty. It's a nail sand. Or it says nail based. Um, it is a great little thing though. So this is how it comes. And this moves. And then this comes off. So it's just your plastic base. Right. So you can wash this. Now what I did um, when I was doing my gel... When I did my rhinestones and stuff, like I feel like that was fine. And I do like that it like, it just holds you nicely. Sorry, this is actually the way it goes. So you, it moves with your wrist and it actually, it comes with a little light too. Oh, I do have it down here. I didn't know if I had it in my cart. <laughs> Sorry. These carts come in handy. So it does come with this little light. So it's kind of neat when like you want to see your bling and stuff to get up like i don't know i feel like it needs like um how do you call a magnifying glass sometimes to see but so it just kind of like clips on the back there so i don't store it with that in um but it was kind of neat to have like to have that option i really like that now oh one quick thing before i show you the pieces that it came with it kind of it comes like almost like a little station which is it's kind of nice I'm really really digging it but so what I did when I did my gel right because I rest my hand there in which if you're a content creator for one this is like it's amazing because it forces me now now I know like as long as I have my hand somewhere here I'm in the picture and I've struggled with that I would say the whole time that I've been doing like the, um, doing my own nails on camera and stuff to get out of out of focus and just like out of the picture out of the scene so it kind of is like it's like um how you, like that marker that's what i'm trying to word i'm trying to find it's like a marker so i know if my hands on this you guys can get to see it so that's amazing um what else do we have i was like did i even hit record am i talking to myself this whole time but i think i did <laughs> okay so quick fast this little guy right like I said this can come off it's just like a little kind of like a sheet a fitted sheet that goes over it um which is really really good so you come, it comes with two um when I first got mine I had like a little smidge on it so I threw it in the washer quick and it came right off it's great 
Um, it already has like a little rip type of thing, but you can sew it. Like it's fine, you know what I mean? But I don't know if you guys remember back in my original hauls, there's a few you'd have to go back. I, when I was doing my models and stuff, no, right now I'm not doing anybody or having anybody here, you know, we're all in shambles again. Um, but I bought a lot of booty protectors. So they're just like these boots that go over your boots. And so that way people come in my house, I'd, obviously I work out of my home. So I would just have them put them over their socks or in the winter or shoes in the summer. It didn't really bother me. But I always have them over like even their socks because it's, it's my house, you know what I mean? But I was like, I don't want to get gel on this and then have to like every single time. Like I'd rather wash this more when I wash my cloths. I have my cloths in a little jar, or not a jar, like a tin. That was a weird close-up, eh? Um, yeah, so this little tin, it's just from the dollar store. I just did it not long ago, but um, yesterday I just did laundry, so. It just holds my dirty little cloths that I use. Now it's not gonna wanna go back in the cart. Fine. Um, it's good. It holds my dirty little cloths and then my washable face mask that I use when I'm filing. So I just put them in there and then once a week or whatever, when I do Pacific stuff, I wash it, right? So that's what I plan on doing with these. So this, long story short, this little guy. And I was thinking, even if you don't get the booties for like your feet, like you can go to um, Dollar Tree or Dollarama, whatever, and the shower caps, you know, little disposable shower caps? Girl! Put that over that do your business if you get acrylic gel anything on it it's not overly that crazy to take it off and throw it out and because it's plastic depending on how much if it's just a smidge just wipe it off and then you can even reuse these but it's a lot better than having to wash that every single time or for me personally I'm gonna use it for like content and stuff even when I do my own nails like it's gonna stay white and nice and clean and not be all like messy and dirty oh. Oh. New use for booty covers. Like I said, but a hairnet, those little freaking hairnet things, works just as good. What else? Okay, yes, the accessories that came with this. I didn't use accessories. I feel like I like my own little setup on my desk, the kind of the way I have it. But I love the fact that it came with it. So especially for small little areas. And even if like they say you can use it for pedicures and stuff, which I think would work really, really good. I gotta stop doing that thing. I this weird thing with my eyes, it really bothers me. So it comes with this little guy and then this. So the key is, I'll just show you the picture on the description. Oh, and it comes with the pump bottle as well. So if you see, is that not so cool? I got this from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. Hopefully they still have some. I'm telling you guys, it was, don't quote me, but I think it was like 30 bucks, maybe. I think it was 30, 35 bucks. So it's not like the most, most like cheapest thing, but if it's something that you're doing your nails all the time and me, especially when I'm filing and things, like, I don't know, I like to have my hand rest on something, but definitely if you're filming and you do your nails a lot, it keeps you in that, like, that sweet spot where we need to be so you guys can see what we're doing, right? Like, I personally struggle with doing my nails on, like, when I'm filming it. I always, I'm never in focus, so. And I kind of just want to get it done, you know what I mean? So that's kind of my jam on that. So that was the that one thing that I wanted to show you. I'm gonna set that over there for now. It'll be in my way. Um, I think that's it for showing you guys. Don't don't be looking back there. See all my little packages. Yes, there will be a haul soon. Um, that's just from this week. All my stuff is starting to trickle in, so it does add up a little bit. Um, they're just little things, but there's a few things I want to do first before I get to that. Maybe in the weekend I might throw a small haul together. Um, but I want to show these mud gels. So I have gone through and I've swatched them, but I want to do a little bit with you guys and show you the consistency and how I feel. To be honest, some I prefer than others. Um, some consistency I find is a little bit more, a little bit more off texture wise and stuff. So, um, I set up a couple little, little stands and stuff. Got my finger and then I'm going to use my finger, a couple of different stands because not everybody has these little fingers. So 
you could swatch another stuff. And then we're going to see if it looks any different on a black or a white. I don't think it will because what it is. But let's switch you guys over to the other video. Alright. Alright guys. So these are the Venalisa Fur Gel. Or Fur Effect Gel, I should say. So what they're supposed to do is give you a fur effect. So that being said, let's figure this out. Oh, this little damping dish I got in from Ali. Uh, I wanted to show you guys. I didn't haul it or anything. I opened it. But it came broken. I did message them, so I don't know what they're going to want me to do with it. I do have another one of these little diamonds, but they're way bigger. See how many chips? It was, like, loose in the package. That's actually why I opened it, because I was like, what is this? It almost, like, breaking through the package. So that's kind of disappointing, but it was really cute. Sorry. But, I don't know. They give my money back or send me a new one. Either way, I'll be happy. Or if they want me to send this back, I'm happy to do that too. But I'm going to use it for this moment. Momento, I had to wait donkey years to get it. So, I'm going to use it. For now, at least, until we figure that out. Alright, you guys didn't come here for that. So, these are the fur gels. They are absolutely gorgeous. This is the whole collection. P01 to... Why are you over there? P12. I did go ahead and give them all a swatch. That way I have them. And then I didn't realize I mix up all my swatches. And then now I have some longer than shorter in here. I don't know if that's going to bother me, but I'm going to not allow it to bother me. I think that's the key. Sometimes not everything can be so uniform. So these are the colors that I feel like that one probably could have used two coats. I don't know why I didn't only did one. Well, these are the colors that they are now with that being said i find the colors are very very beautiful they all are nice what i am not 100 percent sold on is the consistency on everything so i think what we should do is let's open one up um i would say my favorites if i have to go what my favorites are i would probably say the lighter colors are more my favorite than the darker colors Right, like these are my jams. So what I want to do is I'm just going to push a little bit of this out of my way. Let's do, I found that this one was not my favorite, to be honest. So this is 07. I love that. Like it's so pretty though. They are not too thick. As you can see. This has like... A reddish tone to me like it's a reddish brown I would I kind of would call it so what do we got I'm just gonna use a little finger dude here these don't fit exactly the way I wanted to I actually ordered the wrong size of these little tips I ordered from Ali you could order individual sizes Actually, I didn't say I ordered the wrong size. I ordered all of them, but at the end, I went back in for a four. See what I mean? So, two things right off the bat with this. And you'll see compared to other ones. Oh, I did go ahead and stir all these guys. I literally just swatched them. You're going to want to stir any gel products that you have in a container or shake them up in a shaker or... Just get that arm working um, in the bottles because the gel can settle so you definitely want to give it a good stir but I'll show you guys here in a minute so that's that for right now right I'm gonna set her in my lamp a good trick you guys probably do that anyways but a good trick um, to cure stuff without holding it in your lamp and without getting the bottom of your thing all like yucky is you t use two little buffing blocks put them side by side like that and then that will actually hold your swatch stick or in my case my finger right now on it works really good for that so as you see like I've stirred that nice and good so I find this one particular one, and that's why I said this is my least favorite out of all of them. Um, 
I don't know. It's kind of, it's a little like, unfortunately, it's a little clumpy, right? I know it's not going to be smooth, smooth, because we're having an effect. So anytime you get an effect of something, it's going to do something, right? Actually, I'm going to want to do a second coat on that. But it, I, my personal opinion, don't think that that is what it's going for. Okay, so let's just do the pink here. So this is 03. It's a beautiful pinky gray. And I find the effect that it really gives you, it, it reminds me of just like a wool. That's what it reminds me of, like, like kind of like wool. Kind of like wool like socks. Like you know how you have like those little baby like fibers that have like the different colors. I don't know, that's automatically what comes to my brain. Yes, sweaters and stuff too. Probably give a really good like for a sweater effect. But I don't know, for some odd reason, socks come into my brain. We're just gonna take this little guy all ready for me. We're just gonna take a little. And I don't know if you can just see, like, I feel like this one comes so much nicer. It picks up nicer. It's more full when you lay it down. It covers way better. And I didn't do anything different. So, again, you don't want to play with it too much. You just want to get a good coverage. And then stick her in the lamp. I just have my lamp on for 60, I believe. I just have my one lamp right now, so bear with me. Oh, I actually have it on 120. So, because the lamp is right there, I usually put a pillow or something always here when I'm working with gels, especially like this, because I'm kind of close up. Everything is a little bit closer. But I do have it facing the opposite direction. You do not want to have it facing towards your gel, guys, when you are doing your nails, swatching, anything like that. Because the pot's open. Any glimpse of that, you're going to cure it. And you don't want that. So, let's go back here. Let's try it again. So, we're going to get a healthy amount. Because I want to show you the same type of thing. And see how it's textured? Like, I don't know. It's just not as smooth. And it doesn't come off as smooth either right here. Like, I don't, I don't know, guys. And this is my honest truth. I will be honest, I do have, and I am an affiliate with Venelisa, I have a discount code for them, you'll get 10% off, that is Blue Rose 333 I will definitely put that down there, so you can get um, some extra savings on them. I do love their products, but at the end of the day, I'm here to be truthful and honest about products, I'm not just going to be like, yeah, I love it, I love it, I love it, and I find it's not like the best. Overall. Love Venelisa products. This particular 07, I think I'm just not a fan of how, it's almost how textured it is. Like if you can see, sorry, let me just get the lid on. I was just saying about pots and, oh, pots and gel, pots and gel, pots and lights. So I have not um, cured this second one. Where are we at here yet? So if you could see, it is just like, it's a little bit bumpy. That's a good word for it, right? And like I said, guys, I get it. This is an effect. So it's not going to be smooth, smooth. And yes, when we put the top gloss on, it will definitely smooth it out. But I almost feel, which I might try. Should I try that? I almost feel like before I would even top gloss that, I would want to give it a little buff. Because I feel like it's just a little too, too bumpy. Now, so this is one coat for this. That was two coats on the 07. Let's get this one nice and close. So, if you look at this one, there is this um, tacky layer. But if you look at this one, you see how it's still textured, but it's not as bumpy. It still has more of a smooth, it's almost like these fibers are laying down more smooth, where in the 07, for example, they're kind of clumping up a little bit. So, my thoughts. I think, you know, I'll do two just to show you. But that's pretty good with one even. These little stands, I believe... Did I get them from Sheen? 
Oh, maybe Allie. I think I might have got them from Allie. I don't remember now. I can put the link for them though in the description if you like. So I'm just gonna go over nice and smooth. Second coat. To be honest, I don't even. It didn't overly need it, but there are some little areas if you want that full full coverage. I say go back in with a light second coat. This one. Okay. And guys, because I'm working right here, though my lamp is right here, I want to try not to keep gel on my brush when I set it down. Because you know how it has happened to me before. Oops. I have had gel on my brush, put it down too close to my lamp, and then some gel cures on the tip of my brush which is a pain in the tush. Depending on the brush and depending on how much it is, you might ruin your brush, to be honest. But yeah, you could soak it off and stuff. I really don't like soaking off brushes too long. I find that just, it does almost tarnish them a little bit. Okay, so we have this one back out of the lamp. Do you see that though? You guys can see, it's definitely well, that's just me and I I did that one <laughs> um, why is my hand so dry anyways yeah so it's just too it's very it's very like lumpy and clumpy and I think that's my issue with that one because 03 is not like that like I said you put a top gloss on it a thick enough top gloss you would be good to go now what I'm gonna try to do because I actually don't know how they will react to when you file some things uh, when you file it it um, changes it right it changes the color and stuff I know some glitters if you file them the color will change on them let's just use this little muff so I just want to see You'd probably be better to put a top coat on it, buff down the top coat, then put another top coat, and then you should be fine. But I just want to see how it is if I just were to buff this down a little bit. Just on the few pieces that were kind of raised. Like I said, I think the consistency of this one is just a little bit more clumpy. Now, thinner layers. Definitely would probably go really, really thin and maybe three layers. There's, I find the browns are kind of like that. Um, actually, I lie. I think it's just these two were a little bit more like that. But let's just see. So that works too, guys. You see the difference? Much, much better. I didn't get up there too much. I wanted it too close to her cuticles. But so to be honest, a fine buff. Smack a top coat on that bad boy. And let's do it as we're right here. Let's put a little Venalisa. In all honesty, they say with whatever brand you're using, you should use the system. You should use the base coat, the top coat, and that's what you should do. So if you're using Madame Glam, you should use Madame Glam base and top. If you're using Melody Susie, uh, if you're using McCart, Model 1, so on and so forth, you guys get the drift here, Vanalisa. So that's what they say. Is it better? I don't know. To be honest, I'm not, I'm not a scientist. I would say some gels are going to react differently to other gels, right? Some products are going to react different. So my only suggestion, because I mix them, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to sit here and tell you I don't mix brands with brands and so on and so forth, right? I'll use it. Like Young Nails, I love their base. Doesn't mean I always use their gel. I use different gel for it, right? What I would recommend is wiping off that inhibition layer. Once you wipe off the inhibition layer, you have no uncured product, so it's already cured. So once it's cured, whatever you put on top of it should stick. You should have no problems with it sticking, right? That's my, um, I don't know, opinion of the day, I guess. <laughs> so we did not um don't mind my, that little guy 
we did not have to file that one down. That one was perfectly good. All right, what are we at? I don't want to make this too, too long, but I want to show you guys a little bit something. Um, let's do, we'll do one more. So even the reds I find. Okay, we have this little finger here. I think I did four. I brought out four plus a white and that. And I don't think I'm even going to bother doing the white and black. I, I don't think they're going to make any difference on them because they're already pigmented, right? So the black or white background will make a difference. If these were a clear or they had a shimmer or something, then I could see them actually having and like having that um a different effect. But because they're colored, I think it'll just make it a little darker or lighter. Depending on well you put your two coats, it shouldn't make any difference. Alright, we'll do one. Cause that's gonna now it's gonna bother me to see if it does make a difference. See? It is. It's just a c I don't know. I find the darker pigmented it is, and I think this is why I more fancy these ones is because and I don't know why that's not too bad though but yeah the darker the pigment I do find there is a little like a smidge but these are just one nice light coat sorry slightly textured still not as bad as the 07. 07 to me was like I said I, I found it did have that um, clumpiness overall all right so let's take out what do we got what do we got we have 03 which I love beautiful beautiful color oh, upside down now Ooh, that could have fallen yeah, I don't even think that cured properly, so we're going to put that one back in. So, it's still slightly textured. So, like I said, you could go over probably two top coats. Or buff it down a little bit more. But it still turned out, like, beautiful. The color I really like. I would definitely go in, even I find the Venelisa top coat. As we're here, we're kind of doing Venelisa stuff. So, sticky fingers now. Leave that there. So this is a Benelisa top coat. I did not plan on doing anything with the top coat. Sorry, it's my hand is sticky and I just can't. But I want to show you the consistency. I like Two, two, two types of top coat. I can't speak. Two types. So I like a thin one for a thin, nice, good finish. Like when my nail's already good, I just want to keep that gloss. I'd rather a thin finish because I don't want to bulk up my nail. But when I want to kind of encapsulate a smidge without doing it fully in the gel, I like a thicker one. So to me, honestly, I find this pretty standard. Like it's not too thin, it's not too thick. Like it's to me it's just a good consistency it runs nicely it lays beautifully in my opinion this is just the regular top coat now the tempered top coat is i have right here that is more thick oops so I do find the tempered more thick. So I actually like the temper for when I want a thicker top coat, when I want to kind of give that little bit more of encapsulation. Like for decals, I like it a little thicker because I can't stand when you just like you put it on and then if it doesn't get fully covered, for one, it's a little bit risen because sometimes we rush things. Not everything always lays flat. I have a couple on my nails right now that because by the end of it, I was like, oh God, I'm over you that I realized top coated it, cured it, and I'm like, ugh. Right, so, I find that works good for them. So, regular base, sorry, regular top coat, just to get like this. Perfect, very smooth. There's no stick, no inhibition layer on these ones, so there's not a sticky top coat. It's so pretty. Okay, so, you stay. This red 
I'm going to give it a next coat. Still a smidge, a smidge of texture, but not, not that, like I said, like I said, like I said, I don't know why I'm saying that like seven times. You start realizing you repeat your words a lot when you record yourself. This one here, yeah, I think it was this one. Yeah, you see it's a bit thicker. I don't know, guys. I don't know what to tell you. These two are, what was it, seven and eight, like I said, are not my favorite. They do exactly the same thing. But would I still get the whole collection? Absolutely. absolutely, freaking literally Because I love these colors. They're beautiful colors, don't get me wrong. They just lay a little different. And I think as long as you know how something goes down, then you can work with it and tweak it, right? So these two, I would do the same thing. I would do your two, try to do a little thinner, but your two layers, once you see that kind of bumpy and thing, give it a little file. We've seen filing, it does not change the color. I didn't do a very good job. And maybe, like I said, do a thicker top coat because then that would cover that right up and you wouldn't even notice the few little lumpies. It's just I didn't do that very well. But we all the little raised edges from the thickness of it or not the thickness but like basically the fibers that are giving it that effect are just kind of for whatever reason are a little bit thicker in these two so they kind of come up a little bit two coats cure that give her a little whip over with the buffer i just used a regular little buffer not you don't want nothing too crazy and then depending as long as you don't have no little areas go back in with uh, maybe one more little coat top coat or sorry not top coat make sure there's no little roughs then top coat it you're good to go but I would use a thicker top coat so in this case if you want to stick with the Benelisa brand and have a whole Benelisa I would recommend using the, the tempered top coat for these two this one is perfectly fine we just use the regular top coat and that is smooth and beautiful beautiful effects and this one, the same. I'd go back in with one more coat, though, to be honest. I think the darker colors definitely need three coats. That's what I find. I will quick do a little whip through of all the colors so you guys can see. And then I think that'll be all. Hey, guys. I just wanted to come in quickly and show you. I did swatch these out on the black and the white. So here is just the clear. And we have a little fuzzy. Sorry for that. So the clear, I do like the effect that you get. You can see all of the little, like, furs, the fibers in there. Now on the black, I do find my personal opinion is that it washes it out. It washes it out. Like, you don't see kind of, like, the texture that you want to. It just makes it look flat. I do really like how it looks on the white. I think the white actually is, like, my favorite. It just gets that, like kind of makes the black stand out right the fur concept of it so i'm actually digging these two black is not for me like i said it just makes it look dull to be honest so it loses it loses that effect that the fur gel has
guys so i hope you enjoyed that um they're beautiful beautiful colors like i said the two the 10 and the 11 i'm having or sorry not 10 and 11 i apologize seven and eight the consistency is a little bit different but i think once you know how to work with it it's definitely worth giving it a go and like i said they're just gorgeous gorgeous gels so i really hope you guys enjoyed that review um there will be a discount code in the description if you guys are interested in purchasing this um kit or you can do individuals um, they do sell both on the Ben and Lisa website. Thank you guys so, so much. I truly, truly, truly appreciate you guys. Um, if there's any videos or anything like that you guys want to see, let me know in the comments, any suggestions. I'll definitely take everything into consideration. Thank you guys so, so much. Don't forget to go over and go to my Instagram. Join me over there. Thank you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. All right, bye.